Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, VXP Weekend. Uh, it's too bad they didn't uh, decide us to give us a uh, a new target. Um, it's a recycled Everest target with, uh, I'm guessing, 30 or 40 ice patches in it, which does not, you know, I don't think it makes anybody happy. Uh, <coughs> But they like their ice patches. Uh, we'll talk about what everybody thinks about the brutes and uh, whatever else you want to talk about. You know why um, they like ice patches? Because they're all so chill. I see. I, 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 I thought it was a Canadian thing. That could be. Could be dual purpose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, all right. Let's say uh, hello to everybody. Uh, Saint. Good day, everyone. And KB. Hello, hello. And uh, Derpy, back from his adventures. I got nothing today, sorry. Okay, all righty. And Pegleg. Greetings. Did did anybody need a friend to show up today or not? I really wasn't planning on him, but you never know. What? What? Hey, you're going to come out there? Are you going to come out and have some pints with us? You're going to sit there and talk on the microphone to those people on the TV. I'll, I'll talk to the folks on the microphone. I'll have a pint with you later. Oh, man, that's just a bummer. Okay, so now we know where I stand with him. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, um, I guess we can uh, move on. The link's on the right-hand side in case anybody uh, um, wants to join. So, we talked about this before. Fixed heavy weapon slot. It was just a graphical glitch. Um, the text, when you scrolled over, was still correct. So, um, not too big of an issue. So, um, right now we have uh, Terror in the Deep, um, which is improved the last couple times, and I think I'm going to do it. Um, so we call it Siege, um, but you can get three more days of uh, Lionfish upgrade tokens. I wouldn't spend any real time getting a Lionfish up to X1 at this point or whatever you want you know but um it's probably it's probably still gonna have uh, i don't know do you think it's gonna have uses in tlcs or do you think the brute is just going to well uh i'm about ready to scrap all mine as soon as i can so i hope someone tells me to use those okay so i don't know i you know i <laughs> i am I think I'm going to keep a, the fleet of them around for a while. I don't have a need to scrap them. I, I can do other things that are older. Because you just don't know. You know, what are they going to put out where that might still be helpful? You know, yeah. as much as we aren't fans of them. And or like they'll get them back now, in the... <laughs> yeah, they might have Lionfish Weekend. You never know. <laughs> so, uh, I think I'm going to do that. Um, and, you know, Universal Con Conquest, I think, is Assault for Exterminators. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, but then next week we have Bounty, and then we have From the Shadows, which is for your Assassin. Um, you're going to get another five days of upgrade tokens. I'm assuming everybody that listens has already built theirs. Uh, and you'll also get another one uh, for just participating in Pillage the following week. And then um, on the ninth, the raid is going to start, which is going to be the last, the second one in the cycle for the, uh, the second one in the cycle for the um, second and last for the assassin. So, alrighty. Um, but just keep in mind, you're going to get six days of if you between that TLC and just participating in pillage, you're going to get six days of upgrade tokens. So, plan accordingly. Um, you know, you could be building your lionfish or doing what else, whatever. Um, and because there's no real reason to let those uh, tokens sit in your inventory for the next, uh, you know, whatever number of years. Might as well spend them. So, all righty. Uh, anybody else have anything on the calendar? Are we good? Yeah. Okay. All good. All right. We have the level 30 target, um, which is... Um, optimized for the uh well it's a garrison target it's an everest target like i said before it probably has 40 ice patches on it um the good thing about it if we use the same technique that we've been using for a while 
it's putting out a lot of VXP. Um, and the technique that I'm talking about is sending in a uh, sending in a uh, one, mul potentially multiple and then multitasking with them and hitting different things, sending in a conqueror and then killing the turrets and leaving the remaining buildings there, the ones that don't fire, the, the little, um, I, I guess, uranium smithing buildings or whatever they are. It's uh, a it's a little easier than that, but whatever. Well, um, one more click. I was able to get this off of one target, um, and you only need four hundred thousand. Now that's interesting. Off of one target, and you've got one way out ahead of the others. Um, yeah. one didn't one didn't have DDS in it. Okay, so it was lagging behind. So. Um, uh, they all ended up, uh, you know, the second go around, they all ended up finishing up at the same time. Is that, that's multiple hits, though, is it? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to get into that. So um, basically, you go in with your conquerors. I use sky sabers. Took no, out. I, if you want to make it that complicated, you can. I mean, okay. if you've got a fleet that's built enough to do damage, take it in, shoot a five turrets, retreat, and do that four times. That's all. That's all it takes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't have to kill any build if your fleets are built enough to be able to do damage to those things and instant repair off a few hits, which they should be if they have an engine and a few rockets. Just go and kill five turrets, one okay. cluster, retreat, do that four times. With the triple salty, you'll be done. Twelve times if you don't have it, six times with just a double. Okay. Well, it, it, it's, it's way faster than all this conqueror stuff. Yeah. I'm I'm completely unranked, so we can give it a go in a bit. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, and uh, Derpy's way sounds uh, much uh, much simpler than mine. So um, I put on like all the Facebook pages at nine thirty this morning. Okay, um, I don't, I haven't, I don't, you know, <laughs> I don't always. Uh, I'm not stocking all the Facebook pages, so uh, especially not I, the ones it, Derpy's on. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, not those ones. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, have you put out a? Um, I'm not sure. Have you put a a, a video with your uh, brute um, nope. uh, revised one yet? Okay. Nope. Right. It's stuck in editing. Okay. Got Pam extra. Um, yeah, my editor is being really lazy today, so he's gonna get fired. Yeah. All right, David's uh, basically saying what you did, and um, all right. Um, should we go through some more slides or just? Uh, um, I think, or or should we have Saint uh, just demo this real quickly for anybody that's not um, um, not already uh, scalded at this point, just to see? It sounds very simple. Um, yeah, do, and, do the demo. It's a good enough time to do it. Yeah, and I think what we can do is at, while he's doing that, so everybody can watch that. We can talk about um, what everybody's current thoughts are on the uh, on the brute. So, um, well, we need to do that first because I need to just finish my fourth ship and I've got tokens <laughs> so we can just show people what the standard build is as well. Well, we, I know we've talked about it before, but we can we can do that as well. Okay, so if you want to uh, I will share, okay, hey, Kraken Doc, hello, 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 how are you doing? Doing well, the wife's off playing, so I can get on the day. Oh, okay. hey, there's a bonus. <laughs> you bet. All righty. Um, uh, um, I'll let Derpy or um, Pegleg or whoever um, uh, run this because they, they've, I think, gotten a little bit more advanced on this as far as. Yeah, so, so Sam, what's your current build? Do you have enough? Yep, you look yeah. like you're fully built. Oh, it's so, got armor on too. A couple, couple of armors missing from there, but um, that's the damage ship, obviously pretty standard i think that most people have gone with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i've got a second one of those okay uh third one so this one i've is the countermeasure ship so okay. three three mds3 and one gale on that one and obviously i've just switched out the cluster warheads there for the the countermeasure system mm -hmm. okay and then that's, this is where i was a bit undecided whether i needed more countermeasures or not so i've got the last ship but it sounds like people are saying potentially three and one is is enough. 
Yep, that's what I've gone right now it with. sure seems like it. So let's refit this one then. Well, it's okay. definitely the fastest way because it only takes, what, three minutes per. Yeah, and so this one so here, I can just automatically refit that one, no problem. Yeah, because if you're, um, you know, that, you, I, you're better off putting on a more aggressive build and then refitting it to countermeasures as opposed yeah. to putting on countermeasures and then stripping them off and putting rockets on because of the, uh, you know, the time it takes to put them on. Yeah. So you're better to err on this side of things than, um, you know, having, uh, you know, uh, what, 12 sprints across your fleet. Yep. So then we put the DDS on. K2. And has anybody seen anybody using um, like fuel air am munitions or anything like that with uh, add splash and building damage? I have not seen that used yet. Okay. I've got enough splash on my build as is pretty much. What are you using to increase your splash? Uh, just the, it's the same build that Sans got up on screen here. It it just does enough enough splash, enough spread, I should say, too, by itself. I'm not using anything fancy. And if you notice, okay. U1's going to give us 20% increase on You're it. You're using so. the old armors, Saint. Yep. Yeah. There's no new armors at the moment, so... Uh... No, but uh, the other ones, the uh, lion lionfish fish. Fish ones. That's yeah, good. He's I'm going with the old, older one because these give you the explosive damage rather than the extra uh, survival. So we're uh, refit that. Looking for the extra punch. Yeah, well, I figured we're probably going to get new ones anyway, and the, the survival is, what, 9,000 compared with 15,000. So uh, yeah. look at that, what I got this morning. Yeah, well, yeah you're, yeah, that's hacking. They do. Uh, I think you're our newest <laughs> moderator. You gonna use a, a a token on that last seventeen minutes? I will. I'll, I'll be a filthy coiner and spend the coin. Well, you got your hot. You had zero coins, so I've got nine coins. Oh, you got nine. There we go. <laughs> it looks like a zero man. on my screen. He is a rich, rich man. Okay, so we're gonna put a salty on it. Yep. Yeah, not all. Yeah, three uh, bullseye grenades. That's pretty nice. I got I six. Got, I got seven. Oh, I still got one. Yeah, yeah. I brought. I, I find them down to one of those things. I just like. I'm never using them. Keep one for posterity. No, yeah, exactly. I, yeah, I mean, I'm wait, I'm waiting for like a raid where I'm like, we haven't had one of those in forever. Where it's like, oh my god, I how are we gonna get through this? Like the first scourge raid or something like that, and then. All my countermeasures are going to shoot everything down. I'm like, so is, ah. this is a fixed entry point, is it? Or? Yes, that's correct. So just hit any level 30 target. It, it's better if it's undamaged, um, because the there's one turret cluster that's really far spaced out, and it's got five in them. You can kill that one for instant repair super easily. The others might take a little more damage. So it's that cluster of five you can see on screen. Yeah, just get up there, kill it, go and get out of the target, and. This all happens because every target has a maximum it gives you. You can kill the whole thing or kill just five things and get the same, uh, the same VXP payout pretty much. And is he better off just repeating this same cluster with a fresh target? Yes, you're better off doing that because the other um, other bits around here are there's more stuff shooting at you, so you might take more than more than five minutes damage per ship. So if you can find a new target that's better, um, I think there's a. A spot up the top there, isn't it? Yeah, there? There, there's a few to spots, the, like that yeah, one on the left. That, that one you there. do that as well, couldn't you? Yeah. You could grab. So, yeah, plus some the of those uranium. Other yeah, yeah, you could, you could probably grab the uranium without getting in range of anything. Yeah. Well, you'll be in range of stuff, but you have so much so much more armor points that it, it doesn't even matter. Let's, let's if you, see how much rank we do get for that. I know. Yeah, if you go back to base, it's a bit nicer because you... Um, you didn't get you'll get you'll get the bonus reload. you'll get the benefit yeah. and kill everything twice as fast. But so 
so 130 nice. chaos one run. That's wow. really nice. <laughs> and all you have to do is kill five things. Like I see people trying to kill a, kill the whole target and taking half of their brute fleet and damage because it's not finished. I know, I know it didn't get any damage there either. But no, it's it's I mean, it, 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 but it's a round. It's not a round number. I doubt they made that the maximum. It almost seems maybe, like you could maybe kill maybe it's six turrets you got to kill. But yeah, yeah. So well, next let's go time, to that same one and we kill that top section. Would it be a would it be an extra turret? So. Uh, well, I was thinking yeah, kill the, we have fresh kill one. Kill the turrets then... first, and then go out, and then come back and and kill the uranium stuff, and see what the difference is between the VXPs. Yeah, I'll kill this cluster here, which would be yeah. sick. And I should be able yeah. to kill it pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, and then on your way out, kill the uranium and see if it maxes you out at some sort of round number. No, back out and and do well, the, we're, we're do the to uranium. Talk. Next. Well, I'm trying because to figure out that why you'll that why you'll see how much it's worth. Well, I was seeing what the max number was. You know, like how do you what, what is the maximum VXP that? Well, you're... I ki I killed six this time instead of five, okay. so okay, let's, should... let's, let's and see then if we see a round we, number. Yeah, and then we see if we do get anything for the the actual buildings themselves because you might not get much for the. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Well, well I'm like, did, all I did was kill those buildings, and I was getting um. Oh, you were getting okay. Yeah, I was getting um like two hundred um two hundred twenty three k for just these it was like um, a few buildings. So yeah, it was. Um... Like I said, I'm not convinced it's ever going to hit a round number. He says right as a round number pops up on screen, but well, it doesn't doesn't appear at all. Uh, yeah, I, I get that happen to oh, me quite go. often. Yeah, where yeah. you don't Hundred, get the, uh, just slightly more, but not by much. I only have it ever so slightly, isn't it? So uh, it's like it's like maybe thirteen hundred or so over mm. the other one. It's it's which not doesn't much. really make sense as we took out six turrets instead of five. So right. Uh, so 130 is probably the cap. Is probably the max. Plus yeah. or minus some amount of variation. <clears throat> well, this is our last chance to see if there is a max. Because otherwise you're going to be... Otherwise they're going to be maxed out, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we need to take out the buildings. And then something else, yeah? Is that what we're saying? Well, I think we'll just take out the uranium and see what they give you for it. See, see those little ones. But, 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 but then we're never going to figure out what the max is. You oh, know I don't I mean? know. Just two uranium things that can't give them enough to get there. Yeah, but then I've already got 260,000. I only need 400,000 in total. Oh. So I'm probably going to even max out. I'm only going to get 100. Let me just kill a bit more to see if we can max out above 130. <laughs> All right. Now this may not be instant repair anymore. So Might not be. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's going to be pretty close to. Uh... Yeah, I'll be done anyway. Should, yeah, actually, it should be really low. But... Yeah. Can't shoot those things. But you know, at least we got to figure out what the max number is. It probably won't help us because I'm I'm already at two hundred and what fifty nine thousand. So I only need one hundred and forty one to max out anyway. Yeah. So, so we'll, we'll realize if the number is above that. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so you could kill more, you know, it could be two, you know, 200,000. We don't know. I will say, I'm so glad they got away from making VXP an absolute suicide grind nightmare that it used yep. to be. Uh, yes. And did they do that intentionally? We don't know. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they, yeah. They, they, you know, yeah. Well, it's pr pretty much because they've let conquerors in there. That's what's really changed the mechanic of it all. So no, 130,000 again didn't go any higher, and I'm not quite maxed, so... Okay. All right, yeah. so yeah, 130... Looks, yeah. looks like 130 is pretty much the max. Okay. Per encounter, so you could keep on going in and out, in and out. It's per, you know, every time you enter the VXP target. Is where yeah. yeah, but now if you go in and... But it's almost In that it's, one you're going to be struggling to find something to hit to hit, there going yeah. through the ice fields. Yeah, so I'll just go into this other one here. 
But as uh, David unless said, you're it's almost right down the the bottom part bottom. of it. Yeah, but it's almost not worth using a salty. That was only three hits. Yeah. So you're not going to need many more hits than that to. Well, I mean, Derpy still what you still have like seven or eight salty triple salties. So you know. Uh, yeah, I got another one today. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I only ever carry about two in my inventory. Yeah, I, I don't. I carry like one the week, uh, uh, the month that we're going to do this. But yeah, otherwise, I don't I'm care. always uh, convinced Kicks is going to um, nerf the appearance. Uh, I, they're going to they're going to make them super rare, like right as we need them. So, like bullseye brigades. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, exactly. I've rolled two since since they uh, made them super rare. I've rolled zero. Uh, All righty. So you should be maxed at this point. That was pretty... Uh, that was pretty painless. Yep, yep. Well, you could have taken your sky sabers in and shot around crap and hope that worked. Oh, I got eight thousand in that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he needed eight thousand. <laughs> yeah, so that's it done. That was a bit of a waste of a. I actually ranked uh, a mutator in in that particular target with uh, a salty with the balance of the salty that I had left over from ranking the brutes there you go yeah it must have taken a while because you don't really get that much out of it well I had half a half an hour I think left on the salty so I, I think I killed two full target. two full ones and a half a one or something like that okay Oh, okay. Makes sense. All righty. Um, uh, let's see what's next. And what, what I guess the next question is, what does everybody think about the the Brute and the targets? And um, Well, uh, the thing does uh, auto them for four hours damage, which is pretty stupid if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. that's because it stops and shoots and then goes forward and while it's stopped... It gets hammered. Yeah. As far as I, mean, I can the, see, the, these things, you just got to keep them moving at all costs. The most important thing for the FM is that it can auto the FM, right? For reasonable damage, you can auto it. Right. Yeah. And this that, thing that takes four hours of damage on the, on the lowest target. Fully and, ranked, uh, fully armored, by the way. Just to let you guys know, I used a regular salty instead of a silver. Hit those same five and got 108, 70, 44. So, okay. you, so you would have only needed to hit two, four hits as well then. So, yeah, absolutely no use, no point using a double, sort of triple salty then. Yeah, yeah. that was just regular. Salty. Yeah, that's good. That's Save good to know. Save that's the good. salty. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I, I rolled for like eight minutes today and I got a triple salty. So I'm like, I, yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. A lot of times I roll over them, to be honest. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm because, like I said, you only need it. You only need one uh, every two months, at least. You know, at least the way I play the game. Is there a reason to have uh, more? No, not yeah, really. Well, it depends if you got conqueror flights to try. You will. We will need another one next month. But yeah, it's only one a month, basically, at the most. Generally, well, one every two months. Yeah, generally one every two months so yeah i haven't and the conquer ones i'm still like i'm maxed out on those conquer uh vxp tokens that you make in your uh in your mega so i don't yep. really i don't even mess with it uh, let's see what the next slide is i think it's the target the uh the 194 nope nope it's discussion of the target all right um i don't know we went through this on wednesday in regards to the ratio of points that we're getting to what the cost is and the new brute fleet um as you see you get 88k for the new um uh for the 194 which is supposed to be done with the brute 
Uh, one more click. Um, this is the target. Does anybody have a good explanation of why we didn't get something like this in in VXP? Because yeah, we too much work. Die pretty quick. <laughs> Yeah, it was still pretty quick, but normally VXP weekend is when we get a chance to. I mean, I guess we do have this one target, so I guess yeah. Um, okay. Um, is there anything we want to? I mean, as far as the build, you know, as far as I mean, I um, when the Saint was going through and and building his fourth ship, we sort of got into um, what we think the the current optimal build is is there anything else we should be um discussing with this we've seen uh we've seen the target driven from two different approaches so far uh in videos and there's probably more out there but two i've seen uh jerry's and tsm's they both take a different initial move mm -hmm. tsm's was to the top uh jerry was to the bottom and then it's you know looping through and, and whatever everybody's going to work out patterns in that it seems like once they're armored up and ranked up you've got an awful lot more flexibility as to what you want to do but yeah i yeah. saw another route on a video this morning where they went up to the top and then basically did sort of a, a clockwise ever decreasing circles so they took out the ships on the top then on the on the right then on the bottom then started coming in um through each of the gaps then came in the zigzag at the bottom and then took out the ships and they got about eight minutes of repair. I don't know quite how armored they were, but I'd guess fully to get that. Uh, I guess so, but it was, it was a pretty simple route and it just meant they, they could keep moving without ever turning backwards. So okay. Now mine's ranked. I can give it a go if you like, see what, see what we get. Hey, why not? Give, sure. give, yeah, give, that a try. give it a try doing that, that kind of a pattern. I've had four, I've got four ships of fully armoured and I was doing anywhere from about eight minutes, I think, was the best run and probably half an hour was the the worst. Okay. Right. Yeah, sometimes I think it's the luck of a draw whether you get uh, tagged by something on the way through or not. Yeah, as far yeah. as how well your countermeasures might be working. So I... I've only hit this once, and that was when it was unranked. So I'm just going to go straight up the top. Ah, I didn't shoot at you. I wonder if they did something to get rid of that. Get rid of it, because it's yeah. a, bit, a bit annoying, yeah. So. I and look, well, it was a bit unfair. Yeah, yeah they, um, the mortar, a mortar shot at me, but the missiles didn't. Or maybe um, my eyes are just bad. Yeah, you're getting up there in age, so you know this. These things yeah. will happen as you you advance. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not not saying this is the best route. This is just the route I saw in a video earlier. So uh, yeah, so the difference here is going to be that you're fully ranked too. So yeah, you, absolutely. You're going to be spitting out a lot more projectiles and. Uh, what other people were prior to the ranking so yeah. you know you should you should nearly get out of it with on map instant repair he's put a pressure on kb yeah yeah yeah, yeah because he, i mean the weird part is he actually oh, watched, the weird part is he actually watched the video on um pornhub so that that's <laughs> even more fascinating you know is to see how this is going to work out you know, talking about Pornhub and things shooting, I just don't know if that's the, the tone we really want here. Uh, you know, this could get messy. We're just saying. See, that that's that's funny with with the uh, unranked version. That part you just went through, there was always about two or three turrets left half killed going yeah. through. So, you know, the chances are that. that because of the fire rate, you're getting everything in one pass. Mm -hmm. Whereas a, a couple of times I had to go back to to clean up partially hit turrets. Mm. 
And then just wait till the ring disappears. There we go. Now, on those ones, if you stop beforehand, and you can stop if nothing else is there, you can let your purple rings hit first. Yeah. Yeah, look at that explosive, a giant green bar. That's awesome. And and you need to focus on having 0% resisted and 0% taken on that one, too. Yeah. Yep. What you, you've got there. So 3%. So it's almost like maybe it's going to more pen armor. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, if that's you want to drive what it. I build. That's my build. I've, I've put is... four pens and two, two yeah. explosive. <clears throat> Fifty-three evaded, six resisted, and three taken on the pen. Well, yeah, because I would. It'd be so nice if they had evaded split into countered versus actual pure evasion. evasion. Yeah. Yes. Because then we could figure out is so 15... three MDS threes. You know. Okay, 15 minutes. So oh, that's, so that's a bit more than what I thought you'd be getting. Yep. And so you're still going to be... Um, um, It'll be instant repair in base for sure. Yeah. 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 But let's Just not From what forget. I've seen, because I've finished the FM and uh, there was nothing yet. Like there was no King Killer type thing. They were all pretty much even across the board as as in damage wise mm -hmm. well i was just wondering because all this damage was penetrative and you say there's no king killer but yet you think he's going to have even damage yeah well that's that's what i've seen from uh doing those targets so it, but does that I mean can't we see why he'd be any difference yeah so 330 423 but normally you know, if you have accuracy based, three twenty six, you would expect um, a differential. And four twenty five. So there was slight differences between the ship there. So maybe they were targeting one and then the next. Yeah, yeah. but they're all the same. They're all the same ships. So presumably, it's it might shift from ship to ship. It may yeah. be different if you've got a. Uh, but that's a still a king. That's got a lot more armor. Maybe then. But then it's still it's still a king killer mechanism if it switches from ship, from to, ship, ship. to ship. Yeah. Yeah. So it appears. I mean, I haven't hit this target, but it does appear that there is. Base, you know, with I am one. not sure about that. I got, you know, four minutes thirty seconds damage on three of them, and then five minutes 30, 30 seconds on the last one. So. Yeah, but that, that just means it's targeted that last one once more. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. That was but the first... all I was trying to say is that it was even damage. Yeah. Pretty much across the board. So it's it's not as if one has got ten minutes and everything else is instant instant repair. Right, let's see if I can block this guy in regular YouTube. He somehow I blocked him, and now he got through again. Oh, these Russians are crafty people. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's I won't fun. mention the H word. Okay, I'm not sure what the H word is, but it's oh, so good. Oh, a hacker? Okay. Is it Ukraine starting with an H? <laughs> well, you know, oh, it's hack. That's it. <laughs> I, I, I wonder if the, the VOR... Dot NGO, if that is like a non gun non governmental organization he's promoting for some reason, I have no idea. I don't know either. But, yeah, yeah, it's just you know, I blocked him and then he came right back. So now I can only block him for five minutes, I can't block him for the whole time. So, oh, um, I, I'm assuming they're, they're they're coming here to see Derpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Block that hacker. Block that. Yeah. Well, well, actually, when I type it like they do, it doesn't let it go through. But when I type it without a period, it does let it go through. Uh, yeah, probably because you're not a moderator, so anything probably with the period. Yeah, the but, but why do they like get through? They're not moderators. <laughs> yeah, they're hackers. That's a, that's all I've had to 
expected to permanently, <laughs> block, send a, per, permanently block him twice. In the, why can't in the I send minutes. the same message they're sending and I, I don't get blocked? Um, he's trying to sell sauerkraut. So, yeah, yeah, it's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, again, they're 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 aimed at, aiming themselves at Derpy. You know, they know he's a big sauerkraut lover. So, um, okay, I think we've run through quite a bit. Um, I think we got the the build down for the uh, the brute so far. Um, VXP weekend. Um, is there any other? I don't know. Is there any pressing issues that we should be discussing at this point in time? Well, I think I think we just need to give clicks, uh, kicks a bit of a warning. So they, they seem to have done pretty well with the brute. They rolled out a lot of tokens. They've reduced a lot of the build times. Mm-hmm. A lot of people have been able to get their ships done. And as we've seen from the target on the the one ninety four, we've got reasonable damage. So yeah. okay, that's that's good. But let's not forget when we first got the lionfish. Although we didn't like it, we were doing the one ninety for basically 20 minutes repair as well on auto with one ship well, well yeah and and on auto yeah, 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 yeah. so they haven't actually we don't know if they've solved the long-term problem yet because until we see a month or so down the line when we see the well, next range of two, targets, two, two weeks from now pillage is where we're going to really yeah, well, is, yeah i i, I that's am not happy with the these test. targets as is because you can't auto them you, yeah, you take exactly. Three, three and a half hours damage, four hours damage on auto. So, so yeah. six months ago, they said they were going to make the FM less chore based and make it auto based. They stuffed that up with the lionfish. Mm-hmm. Now they brought out a target that to get the same damage, you have to drive. Um, yeah, and, well, that's the thing with the rocket ship is the the lack of range. Everything's yeah. everything out ranges basically. So that's why auto is not going to work yeah and and you have to be careful as well because if you stop at all in these targets you get hammered it's it's not a couple of minutes extra repair it's it's a lot of extra repair so uh i think we're we're not quite where we want to be still i don't think especially with the auto there is just no chance you're going to auto these yeah yeah and um is it the mountains or just the basic mechanic? Because I know there was an original complaint. Seems uh, like it's the explosive rockets to me. Mm. Okay. okay. Yeah, well, as soon as, soon as you stop, you're dead, basically. So it doesn't matter where, where you stop, you're going to be under fire from everything, aren't you? Yeah, there's not too many safe zones until you kill some stuff off. Mm. Yep. Speaking of which, uh, Derpy, did you do any uh, further experimentation with the Swallowtail? Uh, I did again. I thought I drove it really well, and I took only 10 foot of damage, but it was three hours. Huh. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Okay, because I, I did see somebody post that they, they can do it with Swallowtails for eight minutes, but I don't really... You know, I didn't see a video, so I wasn't really certain if that was, you know. Um, Unless, of course, it's uh, some sort of strange swallowtail build. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, but I was, or they made some changes, because this is early on. They made some sort of changes because um, the, uh, um, the UAVs were easily... Um, overwhelming the uh the countermeasures i was which i find really surprising considering the number of cms there are on this uh target and they shoot all the way across the map yeah but there, there was an awful lot in the um 212 as well though wasn't they there yeah. they still overwhelmed there was those as well yeah i know there's so. probably even more in this one but yeah. because uh, i don't know i'm fine if people use uh Swallowtails, but it it seems like they could, you know, if they want people to use the Brute and their countermeasures don't fire at rockets, they could make the projectile speed of their countermeasures like 10,000 and boom, 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 you know, take care of it. I, I'm a little bit confused by why they're doing it this way. Why they're either that or they fix the sprints so they actually fire at bloody rockets. 
Okay. Um, all right. I can't really. Um, I don't know. Is there anything else we should discuss? Crack and Doc? You got any ideas for us? No, unfortunately not. All right. All right. Didn't want to put any pressure on you. Just, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, if we don't have anything else, um, I guess we can wind it up. Um, That's it for the slides, is it? Well, unless anybody has, uh, let me see if there's anything. Um, Just a close up. Well, um, store, yeah, I mean, uh, unless people are, yeah, I don't really see anything left in the slides. It's going to be that we didn't hammer to death before. Uh, so is everyone going to be using Zinth isotopes over Synthian scale? I'm actually still using the Synthian scale because I didn't have any Zinth isotopes. Yeah. And, yeah, I'm using the scales as well. I it, Honestly, if you don't have tokens and you don't not going to have like six extra, eight extra, it's probably best to wait until we see what's in pillage. Yeah, I, I, and then yeah, wait till we see what's in FM. Then wait till we see what's in raid. Then wait till we see what's in pillage. Now, so if no. you don't have a bunch of tokens, you're probably off. Just best off, just not putting anything on. Upgrade your assassins instead. Yeah, I would expect to see, um, based on what we, you know, we still have the. I don't know where the lionfish planning slide is, but I would expect to see armors and probably the flagship. In pillage, um, maybe an engine, but um, you can't get away with the, with uh, skipping the engine. But there we go. Um, look at that. Um, I, you gotta love that right in the middle of it. Given the garrison season lasts a full year, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well it this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I would expect to see at least armors and. The most recent thing they're talking about pushing this to six months, so I would expect to see some compression. I don't know. Um, I think there's four things that could show up in pillage in the raid: armor, flagship, engine. Uh, the flagship is not going to show up in the raid because we're going to get uh, a new. We're going to get the purifier at that point in time, but we could see the arm. Um, um, we could see the engine. And the other thing is the kits, um, the kits in order to upgrade to U1 that's already available. Um, I, uh, if they're really pushing this to six months, do you expect? I don't expect to see limited weapons. I don't think so. Yeah, probably unless, yeah. unless they're also at uh, you know three and a half minutes to refit. Yeah. Well, the, the, when we got the limited weapons before, we were drip fed them as well. You couldn't get them all at once, so you just you're going to have to give us more. Otherwise, you're never going to get them all before the six months ends. Yeah. Yeah. So I expect some compression, and we never got the limited weapons. Not for the lionfish, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this was their schedule, based on what uh, Peter had uh, posted in the forum. So yeah. Um, I wouldn't expect to see limited weapons uh, based on what they did before, but you never know. It seems uh, like it's, but you know, like I said, if it's uh, three and a half minutes to equip them, um, people aren't really going to bitch about that. So, no, it's more more the armors. You've got to put six armors on each. Um. If you've already fitted them, you've probably used some tokens. Um, you're then going to have to refit again. But I, I've still got some tokens left, even after. I would save that. I'm say I haven't. I still have twenty um, lionfish tokens. I'm saving those um, for the armor, for the engine. Yep. When they come out, so I don't have to ever really break. Um, I can do it all. You know, maybe there's a couple hours left over or whatnot. So I haven't spent, because uh, basically the first time we really need to use um, use the Brute is either in pillage, this pillage, or next pillage. I'm hoping well, it's, what? I think a lot of it will depend on how, how far they scale up the, the targets. Well, we're not going to see... It, it might not necessarily 
pillages in a couple of weeks. Immediate, right. uh, immediate changes to armor. Well, pillages in a couple you know. of weeks, so it's not like it's that far out, and they're not going to increase add targets between the FM target is not going to change until after the raid. We're not going to see an additional one. Um, yeah, but what I'm saying is it might not it might not necessarily need you to immediately whack new armors on everything straight away. And particularly if they're limited, well, they might only, you know, let a few out at a time. It might not give you the whole, the whole amount. Yeah, but I would expect something. No, no, I agree with that. But I, I also expect that we're going to see things faster than the original plan for the lion. Well, if if they're gonna, if they're only gonna last six months, but well. Kicks haven't really said what they're going to do with them, have they? Uh, they? They did make a post that sort of implied it, but it, it, it was written in, in a language that, like, we can take this back. They As in emphatic. all Kicks language. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't emphatic, but, like, this is maybe what we're thinking about doing is the way I read it. As so, opposed, in other words, we're definitely the subject doing this. to change. Yeah, but it feels like six months. Based on the way that was written. Well, it'd be nice if they actually came out and said it, wouldn't it? I think they thought they did. They're not really... I mean, um, I'm going to try and find it. They're not always direct in their, in their I, language. Uh, let's see. I, don't, I, I think with the amount of tokens and that that they gave us, the fact that... It isn't this cycle that's going to be the big issue. It's if they do only keep it at six months, it's yeah. going to be the next cycle again that's going to be the issue. Because if, if you're only going to have a six month, you're going to have to keep giving out this amount of tokens and build time every single time, I think. Because mm. otherwise people just can't keep up. Right. Yeah. And Unless you're actually spending money. Because that's, that's why I think there needs to be some clarity on what what we're actually looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been reviewing the feedback from players from the last Garrison release, the Lionfish, and realized for some players the long wait between Garrison Hall created too high of a sub, too high. I think there's an of missing, too high of a sudden pressure spike on its release. And so, for the players so had a that didn't enjoy the mechanics, <laughs> um, you had a long time of using the hall you may not enjoy. So we decided to bring forward a new garrison hall and drop the build time for the hall to smooth things out, as well as to introduce some new play experiences. Um, well, if, if they say bring forward, this means that this is the June, June, July one. So, you know, you could possibly read into that that it might last for 18 yeah. months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, oh my God. I can't tell if Garner Riddle is one of them, or he's buddies with Derpy. I'm gonna. All right. I'm sorry. So yeah, you know, I I think they need to to really let us know. Well, what is the time limit on? On the brutes, is it six months or is it twelve months? Is it eighteen months? Well, this this schedule that we've got, this planning schedule, would be nice. Something like that. I was told. I was told by Peter that we should expect it this week. Right. Um, he's a day ahead, um, so I'm not expecting it this week. No, so it's just you guys, are behind, you guys are behind. You guys are behind. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, because I I put a table together. And I'm like, I'm gonna tell every you know, I'm gonna tell everybody. Uh, this is what I think is gonna happen. I created a table. What I thought was gonna. He's like, no, I'm gonna put something out this week. So he was just trying to prevent me from finalizing a table of what I thought was gonna happen. Uh, yeah. So uh, is the way I the way I read that because, um, you know, and just say it was speculation and. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you have 
no guesses, but yeah, he, I guess he was just trying to prevent me from, uh, uh, being too correct as far as what they were going to do. Um, was Derpy yeah, really lost in a cave where, last week, a couple weeks? Yes, Ligo, he was. You just got to wait for the show, the Netflix edition. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, it's, 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 I think it's, um, season two of Yellow Jackets. Um, in case you've, anybody's watched that, um, yeah, that, this is, uh, this is the one that involves a cow hidden in I've a, never even heard of that. Yellow Jackets? Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm I living think, in a cave. <laughs> I, um, it's about a, uh, a, a soccer, a female soccer, high school soccer team from New Jersey that, um, is flying to Seattle for nationals and they, and they uh, crash in the Not Canadian an updated mounties. version of Debbie does. <laughs> no, it's more like an updated version of Lord of the Flies is uh, generally what it is. So, um, um, yeah, I, I, it's one of the most buzzed about. Is anybody out there heard of it or is it just... Uh, um, oh, I've heard of it. I've, okay. I've heard of it, but it's on one of the well, 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 streaming cause, services cause, over here. Yeah, because because Derpy's in season two, so that's why he's heard of it. So, uh, yeah, if you want to <laughs> go to uh, if you want to refresh it and go to slide three, um, we can uh, we can share the uh, you know we'll give uh, Derpy a chance to discuss his uh, you know his. Uh, there we go. Hey, how do you get that picture of me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is, it's, you know, just for you, Lego. Um, this is the exit, yeah. right? Trying to get out here. Yeah, yeah. I ended up yeah. being it's like... two weeks down you know, there. Yeah, you couldn't fit through there. So I had to go all the way backwards. You know, it was... It was... Uh, <laughs> it, it took a little while, is all I'm saying. You had to get yeah. Elon Musk in there with the big drill and had to had to break me out, so... I, and you had the said whole, too much already. And you had the whole of the female soccer team in the cave with you as well. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely can neither confirm nor deny that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, the stuff of legends yeah. right there. Yeah. So, Lego, I hope that uh, that cleared up any issues that you know you had as in regards to uh, where Derpy's been the last uh, you know week or so. But he's been back for a week, so you know he's all recovered. He's rehydrated. I might have to go on another trip. We'll see. <laughs> okay. And I, I do have an update on the just using a regular salty. Okay. It was just four hits. I hit those two same groupings. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just four hits on two targets, and that's gold. And that okay. was a five brutes okay. instead of step four. Yeah, so you were getting a hundred odd per target with but with five ships, yeah? Yep. Yeah, so a little bit less per ship, but similar overall. Okay. All right. Yeah, it sounds good. And it, it seems like it's uh you know, with the number of tokens we've been we've been given and um the short build times and whatnot, that this VXP weekend should not be some sort of um suicide fest and um it seems like it's uh it's very oh, jesus christ now, Where are now they're artists? now they're quoting yeah. written as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i don't know what's going on there but yeah the last three weeks these uh, uh i don't know who they are i uh, have uh found the show but um all right um i guess we don't um I guess that's about it um, for the show. Unless anybody has anything else, um, VXP weekend seems like it's quite easy, um, and uh, we've gone through the builds and whatnot. So I think we're, I think we're in a good spot until Wednesday. So uh, um, thank you everybody for showing up, and um, we'll talk to you then. Sounds good. All right. See you later, everyone. Bye. Good night, people.